Greetings, brother. I got your uh, video message as well. You wanted me to elaborate on what I meant in the anathema teaching and lecture as well with the uh, with your court. And you told me you tried to jump into this and something immediately ended up attacking you. Well, this is what I mean by that. You can't, uh, you know, just walk up to any spirit and think they are a member of your exalted court. Most of these spirits have been with you since you've entered. Some are going to come from other sources that, that don't even seem as if they're from the current at all. And most of them are gonna come from your tower after you've been tested. I know um, after the great conjunction, I was performing a grand rite of change on myself to prepare myself for the Elder AGM initiation. And one of the, the it was one of the rites they had me do, and I noticed more and more spirits were coming to me. And it was certainly after I was tested. So more than likely this will be after you've completed the anathema. But you just have to be, you have to be very careful. These are not legionnaires. These are not servitors. These are not familiars. They're not drop shot troopers. The exalted court after the anathema is your own personal army. These are archdemons, each with their own goals, their own, I would say, dominions, their own unique abilities, and even each of them have their own legionnaires, different demonic planes that they hail from. And as I said, most of them will come from your main tower. Uh, mine did not. Mine came from multiple towers. And one, um, quite a few of them actually came from, um, from Iblis. And this, this really surprised me, you know. But it's once you've proven yourself, you have to realize the way these entities will see you. They don't see you as a human being anymore. They won't see you as part of the human race anymore. They will begin to show you their secrets. And it's up to you to ritualistically appoint them. You have to think like a master strategist without actually telling your part of the game. They know the true will of your God self and they're going to align themselves with it. When mine started approaching me, I started to understand them a bit better. I started to uh, call them. They put me through numerous tests. They, and like I said, these aren't your average legionnaires. You're not just going to send them after people. They're not there for that. They are here to make sure you become what you need to become. For you to discern your true will and learn everything you need to learn. They do not care about the human ego the mundane pride and don't get me wrong about that as well they are going to go out of their way to protect you if someone or something is getting in your way but other than that they're moreover going to be teaching you how to wield their knowledge and there are certain rites you have to do to ritualistically appoint them and most of the time when I tell people about these rites, you know, they do what you did. They jump into them um, almost immediately. But like I said, these are, these are arch demons that are coming to you that recognize what you've become. So what you're going to do is you're going to continue your work, but pay, very, pay close attention to what's going on around you because some of the some of the entities I received in my exalted court I actually have had to I found out some of them had been with me um, all throughout my life 
and they were waiting for a particular moment to step forward and make themselves known. And even right now, these are, you, will, you probably will never share these seals as well, just because most of them don't want to be seen. Some of them do want to be known or, you know, put into a book or something like that. But, you know, that reveals your hand. That reveals your hand. Like, if you've seen the uh, red tiles throughout these uh, private lessons, I have made evocation tiles for them, summoning tiles, which I will surround myself with in my own personal circle. See, these... These entities function very different than what you may expect. They're able to communicate with you very clearly without any interference. Um, around the time of uh, the conjunction, they had me call them through the gate and in my person within my personal uh, seals. And remember, you're also their temple and you're their gateway. So I had many of mine infuse themselves into my personal God seal. So I'm able to call on them easily and their legionnaires, their knowledge, their abilities. Because when they grow, you grow. And they're going to teach you various things on how to expand on your dominion. Each of us has, as I stated before, a particular subcurrent that we're connected to, an aspect of reality that we control. And they're gonna teach you how to use that. Now, I wouldn't necessarily um, jump into this, you know, and just start, you know, asking certain spirits, hey, uh, who are these beings? Most, pe most people I tell this want this right away, you know, because of the age of instant gratification that we live in. It takes time. They observe you to ensure that you're ready. There's a reason why. Because the once they've bound themselves to you in this way, they're, they're with you until you cross over as well. They're with you in the afterlife. It is, it's a personal, I would say, pact. Now, there are ways that they will operate to where you have to watch yourself, how you speak. Well, always show respect as if you're showing respect to a close friend or a close ally. You know, they're not... They're not just someone that you can call. They're not just entities that you can just call on whenever you feel like it for any given purpose. That would be an insult to what they are and why they've joined you on this journey. The thing is, they can be your greatest allies or they can be your greatest torturers. As I stated before, you know, when we talked on Skype, you know, Somnus found this out the hard way. They can be your greatest allies and your greatest torturers. If you prove to them you're not worthy once you have them, they will end up usurping you. So think of them as arch demons that will offer you advice, and it's they're going to tell you their roles, but in the end, you know, it's up to you to decide, you know, what you want them to do. Because remember, they are, you have to think of yourself playing chess with your generals or your knights, you know, if you prefer. But... Um, just don't approach that entity that you told me about again. Just because, I mean, these, these kind of entities are given to the proven. I've noticed many different 
entities preparing for something. I believe Chinnabox preparing us for something. Even the uh, court member that came from Iblis, he was showing me visions of demons, spirits, angels, multiversal entities all across the plains preparing for something, gathering armies. So we're being prepared, we're being prepped and changed for a specific purpose. But yeah, don't uh, try not to walk up to any entities that you have a personal relationship because just asking them that question could be an insult to what they are until you perform the anathema you know they will they will have heard of you and if they if they understand you if they see deep within your spirit and they understand you they'll join you but there's no need to force it there's no need to force it at all But this is why I've connected, I've connected mine to uh, certain either objects or, in this case, my throne. But they will be bound to your vessel. You just have to be careful of how you treat them. You have to drop your human self whenever you speak to them. Because they're only going to recognize what you truly are that's what they're going to respond to but let me know if that uh if the entity you described uh, approaches you again um after you asked it that specific question infernal blessings brother and thank you for keeping up your updates